Short disclaimer, this video is going to belong to a series of videos on the channel called Paleo Shorts, where I go over animals with not much information, or animals that might not even exist. Alright, now on to the main video. Gojirosaurus, a name you would expect to have been given to a large predatory dinosaur, like a Tyrannosaur, or Carnosaur. You know, something fitting for being named after Godzilla, one of the most well-known movie monsters. This would absolutely not be the case for the unfortunate case of Gojirosaurus, the not-so-king-of-the-monsters. Found in 1994 by Adrian Hunt, the material now belonging to Gojirosaurus was assigned the name Raptor Lucasi. This name would not stick, as it would be considered an omen dubium and renamed in 1997 by K. Carpenter to the name we know it as today, Gojirosaurus quai. The material found of the animal was a tooth, a right scapula, two gastralia, four vertebrae, one anterior chevron, one posterior dorsal rib, two anterior dorsal ribs, a right pubis, a left tibia, and finally, one metatarsal. Gojirasaurus Kwai, named after the popular movie monster Gojira slash Godzilla. The full first name of the animal, obviously translating to Godzilla lizard, Kwai describes where it was found, in Kauai County, New Mexico. It was named the way it was due to its size compared to other Triassic dinosaurs at the time. Gojirosaurus was a rather large coelophysoid, being comparable in size to the large early Jurassic dinosaur Dilophosaurus wetherilli. This makes Gojirosaurus one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs from the Triassic. In fact, the features of the pelvis and ankle also seem to suggest that it was an immature specimen, and could have gotten even larger than previously thought. Even more interesting than that is the fact that Gojirosaurus was more derived than Dilophosaurus, a fellow coelophysoid. The animal lived alongside several other animals, such as the Phytosaur Rutiodon and the Pseudosuchian Shuvasaurus. Unfortunately, this animal has had certain classification issues, showing that it potentially doesn't even exist. For starters, the vertebrae didn't even belong to a dinosaur. They belonged to the Rawisuki and Shuvasaurus. Alongside that, the pubis and tibia likely belonged to another coelophysoid, the contemporary coelophysis, making Gojirosaurus as a valid genus dubious, thus potentially meaning it might not even exist. This has been Dr. Spooky. Thanks for watching.